answering a YouTube question from Fine Studio. Sir, is there any way to add custom icons? Yeah. Let me make a quick video. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I've not made a visual script in nodes video in a couple of months, I do apologise for it, but it's one of these add-ons I highly recommend, I genuinely, genuinely recommend, it's absolutely fantastic, especially if you're just making very quick scripts like I'm going to show here. So I'll show you how to set up a URL and I'll show you how to add a custom icon and hopefully that'll answer your question mate. So what I'm going to do is I'm inside the visual script, I'm going to add in a new add-on, we'll just call this test. We'll hit OK. Now the first thing that I really want to do is decide where I want to place this add-on. So I'll probably just put it up here on the top right just for demonstration purposes. So I'll press Shift and 8, S to search and I'll search for Add to Panel. Now when I click here on the render context, I'll say where do you want to add it. You could append it here, prepend it here. I'll just put it up here on the top right. Now this is probably not the best method but it's the quickest to be honest. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go to Add, I'll search, this is an interface tool, and I'll search for a button. And obviously, the Add to Panel, it needs an interface. Now, I want to add in a URL or a website or something I can quickly go to, let's make it something like Blender Nation or whatever. So what I can actually do is Serpens have introduced a copy operator and it's fantastic, it saves you a lot of work to be honest. So if I actually go up to help, you can see here we have these kind of websites, so user communities, developer community. So what you can do is you can right click and you can Serpens copy operator and you can actually click here and it will say paste the operator and it will now open a URL. How cool is that? It's so easy to be honest. So underneath you can kind of change the URL to anything you want. So let's just change it to Google for example. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly compile this. You can see here I have a new button when I click on it. It'll open up Google. We're working perfectly fine. So let me show you how the custom icons actually work. Dead easy to be honest. If we go into the Serpents panel on the right hand side, you can see here we have graphs, assets, you can add assets to scenes by the way, which is really good, properties, variables. Honestly, I'm not saying this because of the affiliation link, but it's, Serpents is brilliant. So anyway, what you can do here is you can go to custom icons, you can hit plus, we can open up a file and I'll just open something up on the desktop and we'll just make it something like the Blender Royale icon. You can hit the getter button, I'll bring in this node, and you can then attach the icon to the icon node. I'll just quickly give it a label, I'll hit compile, and you can see here Blender Royale, Google, and I have a custom icon. Now, excuse this stuff, this is stuff I was testing earlier on, it's kind of stored back in the database, but that is pretty much it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care, and have a nice weekend.